Take two. 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 Right. It's not a public transport, what could be said. Well, a lot can be said, can't it? You pay about three quid to go about a quarter of a mile down the road. And when you do get on the bus, finally, after waiting up behind three old people for the best part of 20 minutes while they're paying pennies, you get on, there's no seats. And the seats that are free generally smell. So you go upstairs. Because it's a double-decker, of course. Because they send double-decker down all the time. Because you're supposed to be going green. Double-decker, eight people on it in the morning. What's the point? So you get upstairs, and there's this overwhelming smell of dead people. Like someone may have died on that bus and could quite possibly be still on the bus. And there's no point saying anything to anyone, is there? Could be dying on the bus and no one would give a shit. But... Live and we learn, don't we? So, lately I've been mocking fat people quite a lot. Fat. Fatty, fat, fat. I don't mean like fat like me, I mean like proper fat. You can usually tell them. It's the tech uh, inhalers, asthma. Yeah. Now, I don't know if they got asthma because they're fat, like as some sort of punishment for gluttony, I don't know. Or whether they had asthma. And then just never did any kind of physical activity to warrant losing weight. But on the other hand, just because you've got asthma, it doesn't mean that you can't move. And it definitely means that you can't just sit at home eating sausage rolls all day. Really don't float my boat. So, is it a vicious circle? Or is it their own fault? I personally think it's their own fault. I can't stand fat people. I know it's easy to lose weight. I'm quite chubby. I know that I could just run 10 minutes a day, eat less, a little bit less. You know, it's not a massive. You know, one bag of crisp less a day, you know, that's about 250 calories. You could burn 250 calories sitting on the toilet taking a shit. Which leads me on to this, the supermarkets, as they were. Not super. Overindulgent. Pain in the arse. Money grabbing. You go in and they entice you with their buy one get one free, or buy two get a third free which to me seems pointless because in the first place you didn't need two why would you need three of them and I'm guessing all they do is, that is prior to giving you this offer they bump the price up a little bit to make sure that they cover at least a little bit of their costs maybe what they're paying for it 50 pence out of a pound I don't know it's like a lot of money I mean we're full of it the other day we were there buy one get one free bottles of bleach who needs two bottles of bleach I don't even know why we buy it I pour it down the toilet Yet we have toilet cleaner as well. I don't know why. It's an obsession with supermarkets. We've opened up another one. We have another Asda. Yeah. It's tiny. They're calling it like an express, like the Tesco Express, which is pathetic. It's a small supermarket, which is completely unnecessary because before there would have probably in that space been two greengrocers and a butcher's and now you have to pay the same price for a product that's crap. You're now paying, as they call it, basics, which is a... Uh, just standard food, that's what people would eat. Basics. So you, you've got your basics on your shelf, and then you go up a tier, and you've got their uh, their home brand, as it were. You know, Sainsbury's has their own home brand food stuffs, and then you're at the top, top shelf goods. So you get your uh, jars of pasta sauce with famous chefs' names on them. Mm. I don't see Gordon Ramsay up there. It's probably the only chef I'd buy. To be honest, because he swears. That's about it. And then once you have bought all of this stuff that you don't actually need, you go to a till. And if you've seen the Sainsbury's or a Morrison's or an Asda, they have about a thousand tills lined up, as far as the eye can see, pretty much, because there's a wall at the end. But there's only ever about five people serving. And usually two of those five people are in some way retarded is the best way I can put it, pretty simply. Uh, or at least one of them will be old and is grasped onto the last moments of life by working in a supermarket and then talking to every person that comes through and making some sort of small conversation about what you've just bought. Oh, are these for you and your girlfriend? Well, yeah, the condoms, love, I'm afraid. They, they're going to be for me and my girlfriend. And she stood right here, so even if they weren't, I wouldn't have said anything. Condoms. Can't buy anything. Well, liquor. Look at who goes and does a £150 shopping spree, you know, gets all their monthly shop and then buys a bottle of rum or vodka. Who IDs that person? 
does a, does a 16 year old child go and spend 150 quid on food just to buy alcohol? I don't think so. That's you Sainsbury's. Refuse me, will you? Yeah, lose my business. I'll start going to the crappy Asda over the road, don't worry. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll get cancer from their crappy chicken products. Don't worry about that. But now they've given you another option. You don't, you don't have to go to a human being to be served. No, 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 no. You go to a machine that scans it. It's like working on the till yourself, except you don't get paid. In fact, you don't get anything for doing it yourself. It's not faster. You can't take a trolley through. It's only hand baskets, which is shit. Because when you are in a rush, it's because you've been in the shop buying all their buy one, get one free for so long. And you've even been around the little clothing section and the DVDs and the electrical goods and the back to school paraphernalia that you don't need but you end up buying pencils for some reason. I do actually use pencils. But you see my gist. Don't bring me upon that. Then you get to the self-service and you're flipping things through, bleep, putting it in your bag and they give you this tiny little space to bag all your products into. And you can't take anything off you take it off, they think you're stealing it and they flash a little red light and like put the bags back on the scale and they won't let you walk out with it. But then if you put something through, like paracetamol, alcohol, magazine that has an age restriction on it, anything, any kind of medication, literally you could be picking up shoe sanitizer and it will blip and tell you they need to get authorization for some guy just in case you have a 12 year old kid that's wanting to sniff glue. Glue sniffing went out in the 90s. I haven't heard or seen anyone, and I hang around with some unsavoury people. 